Welcome back to Ravenport on Farming Simulator 19 for episode 4 with me, Mr. Sealy P. So here's the thing. I thought I'd jump in now um, just to explain something. Mr. Sealy P's Farm Services never shies away from a contract. So um, as I was scrolling down my con contact sheet, there was a contact contract sheet. There was one for. Uh, doing a harvest and it showed the uh, Roper Panther and I thought oh yeah use that do a bit of video quick you know time lapse of that for the viewers and then I'll carry on do a load more contracts so by the time I do the next episode or as part of the next episode I'll have really built the money up the contracts worth about 14,000 less the lease of the vehicles which actually wasn't too expensive and off I came to field 10 which didn't look too big on the map this is taking me forever. Um, this holds, the Roper Panther 2 holds 30,000 litres. I was also given as part of the uh, contract offence and I got the Joskin Tipper. The Joskin Tipper is also 30,000 litres, so for every full load it's a full trailer load, which I have to take down to the restaurant. As you can imagine, <laughs> I think I've done six runs down to the restaurant already. I think I'm about six runs in. If I look on here, I'm only 60% through the contract. Now, the thing about it is, you stop and again, you think, oh man, that's a lot of work, that's a lot of effort, a lot of time put in for 14,000. But we've got to get away from this mentality of FS17. And um, to be fair, I suppose, even some on here, depending on what you're actually doing, of this massive payouts for all the contracts you do we were spoiled on fs uh, 17 we really were you know with the time limits and the bonuses and the contracts some of you you get paid 30 40 grand for a job plus a bonus on top and it was well worth your while putting the time in the thing about it is and this is again this is a real shift for me in the way I, i'm doing things i've had a few of these over the time since fs7 uh, fs15 all up to now is a shift in the way of thinking, a shift in the way I'm playing the game. Why are you playing the game? Somebody messaged me the other day to say, you can't see the point in cheating. Um, if you're just going to cheat to win, then why play the game? This isn't a game with winning or losing. This is a game about farming. If you set yourself a target and you, you consider, I've won if I do whatever, fair enough, that's entirely up to you. But realistically, it's just the farming you know it's not a game with end of level bosses it's not a it's nothing like that oddly enough and that's where your shift of mentality goes you then start thinking why am i playing the game am i playing the game to get to a million pounds euros or dollars as quickly as possible am i playing the game to be able to afford to buy every piece of equipment i possibly can and every piece of land on the map as quickly as possible Am I playing it for the farming? Am I playing it for the vehicles? Am I playing it for the, you know, if you play it realistically, are you playing for the realism? It depends why you play the game. And I think my shift in thinking is, I'm really enjoying just playing the game. You know? When I did my Upper Lusatia, Back to Basics, it's that you start doing things and it puts a smile on your face. Yeah, it might take me an hour to do this contract. It might take me even longer, actually, to be fair. But the whole time I'm doing it, I'm enjoying it. It's relaxing. I'm having fun. Now, obviously, I wouldn't put you through a whole hour of me just doing one contract because that, you know, that would be crazy, and people would get bored and they wouldn't want to watch. So I think that's the big thing I'm taking from this at the moment. Is there are some massive changes, and some seem to be for the better, some seem to be for the worse, and we've kind of discussed that quite a lot over the first fast few the first few episodes but I think the biggest change for me is my outlook on it why I'm doing it I'm going to carry on contracting because at least with contracting I get to use a variety of machinery and I get to show you guys you know at the end of the day it's that um, you know people watch because of the things I chat about people watch because of this, the way I play the game, whatever reason, why ever you particularly watch my channel. Um, and again, everyone will be different. Um, I'm just having fun. I know that's, yeah. And that probably comes across in the videos, I guess. 
Um, but I, I, I don't. I'm going to build this farm up. Of course I am. I'm going to buy more machinery. I'm going to buy more equipment. I'm going to hopefully buy a farm. If a mod comes out where they're cheap enough, I'll buy myself a farmhouse and all that kind of stuff. But um, there's still all the actual gameplay. And again, if you're watching someone's Let's Play because you want to see super fast building a farm from nothing to something in five episodes, it's not going to happen. I, I just, you know, maybe some people will. I honestly don't know. Um, and that's the thing, isn't it? If that's what you're watching for, again, who do you watch? Whose YouTube channels do you watch? Why do you watch them? What about their gameplay? What about their style do you like? Are they excitable and over the top and shouting and yelling? Are they calm and considered? Do they teach you something? Um, do they do their maps really, really quickly and you can learn how to make money really, really fast? Yeah, what does that say? 46% transported? I've got a long way to go. Um, so I just thought I'd, I'd jump in now. I'm going to carry on. I'm going to do some more contracts. I'm going to finish this one. Um, so this is just kind of at the start of my video, just to say, you know, I'm plugging away. I'm enjoying myself. And I'll see you in a bit, hopefully with a bit more money in the pocket. Right, so as you've seen, I've done a couple of jobs that took a little bit longer than I thought they were going to. Um, but that's not too much of a problem. Um, I did cut down one of the abnormal, say abnormal shape trees. What I have done, I cut down one like this, which is on the trailer. And there are a few limbs which are left over on the ground. What I'm going to do is put the sides on this trailer then I can throw stuff into it rather than having to strap it. That would probably make more sense. Then I cut down one like this. That is in the process of being chopped up over there. And that's what's in the front jaws. There's a big chunk of that. Problem was, without a rear weight, before I hooked up to the trailer, it, I just couldn't carry a heavier log. It just wouldn't pick it up. So I think I might have to go with the log grapple, which I don't really want to. Now, I went all the way over to the sawmill when I did this before. But... A couple of people commented, and thank you to those people that did, to remind me the barn is just up here on the left and the biomass plant. The biomass plant won't take wood chips um, anymore, but it takes logs. So I might as well just take it there rather than going away to the sawmill. Someone also said it pays better there than it does at the sawmill. I guess those prices are likely to fluctuate, so I don't know um, how long it will pay more for unless it just does a stand anyway. So just up the hill here, which means I don't go too far. Now, I tried to do uh, a bit of a dodgy, I suppose. I tried to do a contract before I started recording this bit here. Um, it was on field 11, which is a fair sized field, and it was for ploughing. They were offering me a tractor um, and a plough and a weight, but they wanted to take 3,000 off me for the lease of those vehicles. It was a fair sized field. So I thought what I'd do is I'd go and have a look in the menu and um, lease a couple of bits of equipment instead so actually it's gone off there isn't it or is it still on there if i go up it probably says failed at the top doesn't it yeah there you go plowing failed on field 11. so if i scroll across to field 11 which is this one here it's a fair size field so what i thought i would do was go in here have a look at the plows and see what they cost to lease and they were quite expensive so i went to subsoilers and i thought okay well the combi plow there uh, the gold four meter one uh, 9,500 to buy, but to lease was only 760. So I thought, well, if I lease that and I can get it done in under an hour, rather than leasing equipment for over three grand, I'll get that for 700 and something. Job done. Took over to the field, 
put it in the ground and it came up with you do not have access to this field so I'm assuming because I wasn't using a plow it wouldn't let me but I have had a couple of people comment and send me messages saying they're doing contracts and every time they try and use their own vehicles it says they can't so yeah I'm a bit baffled by that now what I'm going to do is put that down so what I wanted to try was actually I'll leave these in the trailer because you don't have to unload you can do it all from the trailer I was just curious if the one on the ground would just go automatically as well so if I do L3 on here now it all went and we got 2256 now that's weird over at the um, sawmill for one tree one pine tree I got what was it 2000 I can't remember what I got now that was a tree and an extra log and I got less but there doesn't either seem to be any kind of I thought doing stuff here you'd get some kind of animation of something happening but apparently not but it's closer, and it's another two grand, so, you know, I'm not complaining. So the question is now, I've got a couple of options. Carry on doing some logging. Let's take those off. <clears throat> I might go and get a log grab, because it might work a bit better. Unfortunately, because I haven't got the manure fork for the front loader anymore, it's that new thing, multi-purpose fork, and it's got those two little side spikes on it. It's not working as well as the, the other ones used to. But that's not, you know, not the build and end all. I can carry on and do some more contracts. There are a couple of different ones on on offer at the moment, which would give me access to some different machinery to show off. Um, there is another ploughing one there. Field 13. But again, it takes 2,400 off you. Hmm. Got a couple more harvesting ones, fertilising ones. Now, here's an interesting one, sowing. I have been reliably informed that seeding, sowing contracts don't work on Farming Simulator uh, on PS4. That the people that have tried them, the game has glitched out. So I've got a choice here. I could try one of those and see. So I'm thinking what I could do is before I take the contract on, save the game, have a go and see what happens in the interest of science you know maybe give it a go so I think we'll do that first we'll have a go at a sowing one see what happens it's going to mean buying some seed um, but then obviously we should get reimbursed for any we don't use etc etc so we'll, we'll give that a go we'll try a sowing contract um, I really was hoping to get far more um, contracts done but the ones that I did do took quite a long time then obviously the BGA video I put up this morning the guide to the BGA it took me quite a long time to set up for that video having to um, prepare a field get the grass I needed then for the bunker silo to ferment etc etc so it took a little bit of a while I'll see you up at the store in a minute and let's get on with another contract I think right I'm up at the store what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert that to put sides on so I can carry on doing some logging jobs without being an issue if I then want to do any more transporting contracts I can just take that off take it off again and carry on as I was before this was only leased anyway this front fork so what I will do is go into this menu here go to garage and that's there return it and what we'll do is have a look at uh, what cedar was it offering me to use on that sewing contract it looks like the Vedastat Rapid A600 A, A600 uh, let's have a look and see if we can find one that matches that I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Where are we? Cedars. Uh, I think it's that, isn't it? Yeah, the Rapid A600S. And that's only seeds, so I don't need to buy any fertilizer. Fantastic. So what we'll do then is we'll go into no, not there. We'll go into big bags. We'll buy seed. How many bags does, th does that thing hold? Didn't even look at that, did I? Uh. Where was it? <laughs> Not that one. That one. Capacity of 3,100 litres. I'll get two to start off with and see how we get on. Don't want to overdo it. Don't want to go mad. One. Two. Okay. 
Oh, the actual contract itself would be a good idea, wouldn't it? Lease items, I'll take a hit of 815, but again, not the end of the world. Now, when you look at it in jobs like that, and you think you can do a tree for 2,000 and something, or you can do a contract like that for 2,000, but then it's about using the farm machinery, using different machinery, using different equipment, not just about cutting down trees. I did have a comment left yesterday saying, who gave him a chainsaw? I know from the Valley Old Farm, and other Let's Plays I've done on FS17, I did go heavy on the deforestation, especially on Lone Oak. I think I did a lot. I paid off a one million pound loan just logging. So um, yeah, it does uh, do all right for yourself. So anyway, um, we've taken on that contract. We have taken on that contract, haven't we? That's odd. What is going on? Where did that just go? It's disappeared. I did click on that. I know I was talking, but I clicked on lease items and the sewing. So when somebody said you can't do the sewing missions, it just vanished. So I've just bought two things of seed for absolutely nothing. Well, there you go. First, first one of my glitches. I've never encountered that before. I will have a keep. Yeah, it's gone. How weird. Okay. Well. Um, hmm. What do I do now? That's frustrating. Maybe uh, pick up one of the fertilising contracts saying, well, I feel a bit deflated now. A bit gutted. Uh, I was looking forward to doing that. Just to give it a go. Where was that really weird one, the harvesting one, that was only paying 400 Just there. Another fertiliser, not paying very much. That one pays OK. I've done fertilising already. I want to do something a little bit different. Well, that's fertilising with a... No, but I've got a fertilizer spray. That was the whole point, wasn't it? Transporting, harvesting. Could do that one, I suppose. That's a different harvester. Now, let's have a look at finances. I can borrow 5,000 at a time. What's my limit? Because the other thing I could do is... Um, have a look in the menu because I've been suggested something. This is by Kane. Kane suggested field flipping, and I quite like the idea of it. Um, let's scroll across. Oh, a couple of people asked me when you're on this map menu, they couldn't work out how to get to the right hand menu, the one that says filters, where you check your fruit types and stuff. I said right joystick, right mushroom. I meant left. If I go left mushroom, I can go up and down that menu on my left joystick, left mushroom, whatever you want to call it. And I can scroll across when I get to that top one. I can go so it's left on your on your PlayStation controller, your left joystick. Um, so growth. I need a field that's ready to harvest. Both of those are ready to harvest. What does that? What does field eighteen cost? And what's in field eighteen? It is corn. I think that's corn. Okay, it's not a huge field. If I go L3 and then what's that bit of land cost? 171. So I wouldn't have to borrow too much from 126 where I am now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a field flip. <laughs> we're, going to, we're going to try a field flip. Um, so finances. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to borrow. How much can I borrow? Let's go up to about 200,000. There you go, 201. So I've borrowed. Oh, this, I hope this works. If it doesn't work, Kane, I'm coming after you. <laughs> I really hope it does. Okay, now I'm going to go to my, my menu. I'm going to go back on that. And I'm going to click on this. Uh, there we go. And I'm going to buy that. 
Do I want to buy it for 171? No, because I'm terrified, but I will. Okay, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to come out, and I'm going to lease a harvester. Hopefully this won't cost me too much. I'm going to get a small one. I'm not going to go mad. I'm not crazy. Even if I went for the bison, it really wouldn't matter, would it? Um, how much does the bison cost to lease? 6,000. This is a gamble now. I'll lease it. This is a big fingers crossed moment here. Um, okay, okay, okay. We can do this. We can do this. Uh, then I want headers. Corn headers. It was definitely corn, wasn't it? <laughs> if I lease this and it's not. <laughs> corn champion. That looks like a cool header. Uh, what do we go? I don't want anything ridiculously big like that. <clears throat> How much is this one to lease? Oh, 1,500. Oh, it's getting a bit more price in it. Well, that's not much different, is it? <clears throat> Let's go with that one. Okay. So we're in a difficult situation here now in that I've got to make at least eight grand on this whole situation. So here's what I'm going to do. Let's jump in the bison. Please tell me it still sounds the same. Not bad. Not bad at all. I will need to adjust my uh, my trailer anyway, because I'm going to use that in a minute. I need to do this in less than an hour. We're going to do a field flip. Now this is no different in principle to buying and selling on eBay, to flipping cars, to flipping houses, whatever it might be. Buy something do a little bit to it, sell it on for a better price. Or in this case, buy something, harvest the crop, then sell the field again. So you've done some work on it. Which way do I need to go from here? Carry on, and then take the left. Um, take the crop out of it, then technically, if Kane's right, I can sell it for the same price I bought it for. I can sell the plot of land. So what I've done, I've flipped the field. I've cleared it of the crop that was in it. I've made the money off the crop. The problem is, it's not a huge field, and I've just leased this for... Yeah. Oh, I've just leased this for about 8,000 with the header. But then potentially, what I could do is find another field that's got corn in it and do the same thing again. So I'm not convinced I'm going to make 8 grand on the corn. So it means trying to use as much of this as I possibly can. This is field 18, which is now mine. So, let's corn harvest. This could be abject failure. It could be an absolute disaster. But if, if all else fails, and I sell the little plot of land back for what I paid for it, I shouldn't technically be out of pocket. Now, the thing about this is what should then happen is I can pay that loan back off again if I want to um, if I make a profit on selling the crops it all kind of goes into the kitty so every time I borrow the money when I sell the field again I just pay that back again straight away and I'm back to where I was plus the profit from whatever crop I've done does that make sense? it kind of does in my head <laughs> I don't know if it actually does in real life but <laughs> and then someone gets the field they get to buy it back off me without the crop in it they haven't got the worry and the hassle of getting rid of the crop or cultivating it in they haven't got to worry it's all gone been taken from them they can just have the land they can build on it do whatever they want that's how I'm playing it in my head the field flip Actually, it's not a bad size field. We might do right out of this, you know. I'm going to have to convert that header up, uh, the uh, trailer, the Stroutman SEK. Now, I don't own a silo yet. Can't afford one. So, um, I could put it into storage in one of the railroad silos if I wanted to. Barris did let me know that I think you pay a fee overnight. I'm sure he said you do. You pay a fee overnight for using it. I don't think it's a huge amount. But if I just stored it in there until I was ready to sell it, if I sold it within the same day, I wouldn't get charged that fee, potentially. So, um, 
Mm -hmm. Let's see how we go. Right, I'm going to see you in a little bit when I'm ready to unload. Let's get the cruise control on. And uh, we'll see what we get off this field. Hopefully by the end of the episode we'll have cleared it, we'll have sold the crop, we'll have flipped the fields, paid off the loan and we should be better off. That's the theory. Right, this is where I stand. So after the first field, field 18, I can see the legs on this field flipping, I really can. In here I've got 12,000 litres. Now at the moment I'm out of pocket because it, they charged me at the store four grand to extend that. I'm pretty sure when I bought it I think I only had the first layer, didn't I? So it was two grand to do that one and then another two for that. So it cost me four grand. So I'm out of pocket four grand at the moment. Plus the leasing cost of the harvester and the header. There's 12,000 litres of corn in there and about 700 litres left in the harvester. Corn's only selling for about 450 odd at the moment. So I'm not, I'm barely going to break even the leasing cost of the harvester. But that's filled, my first field. So here's the thing, if I look in the map, if we can sell this field back for what we paid for it, so we go back to this plot of land here, select and then sell, 171, that's what they, I'm sure that's what we paid, didn't we? Okay, so our balance... Hang on a minute. 189. How are we out of pocket? Oh yeah, because we leased the stuff, didn't we? Of course we did. And then four grand on top for the stuff. So at the moment, we're down the leasing cost. Now here's the thing. Field 16 here, if I go to map overview, has got sunflower in it. That is sunflower, isn't it? Uh... It's got sunflower in it that's ready to harvest. So, in theory, <laughs> bear with me on this, what does that plot cost? 137. If I now buy that plot and I use the same harvester and the same header, that one will be profit. That is right, because when I sell the corn that I've got in my trailer, <laughs> go with me when I sell the corn I've got in my trailer that will cover the leasing cost thereabouts the leasing cost of the harvester and header if I take it up the hill and do that one let's buy that plot of land 137,904 yes then we take all of our stuff up there <laughs> I hope this is going <laughs> to in my head I'm, my mind's reeling I'm thinking that, no, that is right, isn't it? That is, yeah. It's got to be. has to be, or I'm going to cry. Um, the best place for selling this at the moment is the central grain elevator, so I'm going to take this to the central grain elevator. We'll sell this. Now, I could put it in storage, wait for the price to go up. It is climbing, but climbing slowly. I think the restaurant's paying for, uh, 413 for a 1,000 litres, which will only put me in at about, well, not even six grand if I sell this now. I could wait for a high demand for it to go up, and treat this whole thing as kind of investment put it into storage and then if I got a high demand of like 900 or something then I'm easily going to cover my costs um, so the question is do I do that do I put it in a silo and wait for the price to come up or do I sell it now and re no you know what I'm going to put it in storage I'm going to put it in storage at the grain silo uh, sorry the railroad silo up here because I don't own my own one, put it in storage there, and if the price comes up uh, to a fair price, a decent price, sell it and make the profit. So what I'm doing, I'm basically investing in the crop. <laughs> so I took out the loan, I'm flipping fields, every crop I get off the field I put into storage and then sell the field again. All those crops in storage can wait to the great demand, and when I sell them, that's when I make my profit. There is logic there. Kane, I like it. I like it. It can work. It might mean I won't see the profit for a couple of episodes. But the field flipping can work. And obviously the bigger the field, the, the better the yield, the more crop you get off of it. 
all I'll be paying at the moment is going to be hourly leasing cost for the harvester and header. Now obviously it's a small harvester. If you've got enough money, if you've got more money, lease a bigger harvester, you know. It, it, this can work. And obviously as scaled up, this will work a lot more efficiently. Um, although you're going to be paying more on your leasing costs for your harvester initially and that kind of thing. But with a big enough field and a big enough crop, you can easily make money. Easily. So let's put this into storage. Then so I'm going to run the harvester up the hill to field 16. So what I should see now on that menu is under corn. Yep. Silo other total capacity should go up to 12,000 litres. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 430 at the central grain elevator and going up. It's green. What I want is that to be blue, and that would be just absolutely banging. What's sunflower pan at the moment? That's going upwards of 700 something at the ranch, 797 at the restaurant. So this is where I can then make some money. Smart. Right, harvester. So on the drive up here, I was having a bit of a thought. This is all well and good, flipping fields on um, on the field side of things, which is great because once you sell the field back, it goes back into the AI cycle and you can keep just bouncing around doing that as much as you want. Then I had another thought. To make a little bit more money if you wanted to, surely, 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 what if I picked a plot of land, for example, this one, there's no fields on it, just trees. Buy the plot of land, completely clear it of trees, sell every single one, then sell the plot back again. You'll make more money. To be fair though, a bit immoral. I mean, you'll leave it completely treeless. Um, but you could. No difference to buying the land and doing forestry yourself. Once you finish with it, sell it back. It's it's, it's an interesting feature, I think, of, of um, FS19, the selling land. So what we're going to do now? Turn the big off. I'm going to harvest these sunflowers, and we'll see you at the end when we're selling them, and then we'll sell the plot of land back. We'll pay off the loan, and we'll see if we've made a profit. Bearing in mind as well, we've still got. Uh, what are you on about? Oh yeah. <laughs> that would be the wrong field. That could be why it's telling me I haven't got access to it. Sorry. Anyway, <laughs> when I actually get to the field I'm supposed to be harvesting. <laughs> That's canola. Ah, oh, not sunflowers. Um, <clears throat> Sorry about that. So busy enjoying myself, I just you know <laughs> saw the bright flowers and here we go. This will be the one. Let's try again, shall we? Yeah. So we will still have the corn in storage for a good price on corn. So whatever we get off this, like I say, we'll uh, we'll go through the motions. We'll then sell it for the best price we can. Sell the land back, pay off the seventy-five thousand loan we got, and see what we're left with. I started this whole endeavour on 126,000 and something. What did I start it on? 126,254. Anything over and above that is profit. We've done alright. As long as we cover the leasing costs of this, it should also as well pay for the four grand extension on the, uh, on the trailer. If we're in profit, it's worked. The theory is sound, and it's just a case of then scaling up 
and moving on to other things. So, I will see you at the end. Let's make this work. I can keep this harvester indefinitely. Trumps overnight you'll get clobbered a little bit, but if it's working, then when you earn enough money, upscale your harvester as well and continue on like this. So this is a kind of alternative to contracts as well. I like it. I got 9,878 litres off that field. The best price is at the central grain elevator. That's where we're heading now. The margins are going to be slim, but like I said, bear in mind I've still got corn in storage, which I could wait for a good price on. Plus, I was looking on the map and field six, which is just over there, and it's quite a big one. It depends if I can borrow enough money. If I can borrow enough money from the bank, I think it's 400 and something, 400 and something thousand to buy the plot. That's got sunflower on as well, but it's a much, much bigger field. It's going to take me way, way longer to harvest it. Um, so then, you know, you're, you're weighing up now. This will work better with bigger harvesters, more efficiently with bigger harvesters. Let's see what we make. The skyline doing it. It's not perfect. really not perfect <laughs> 8068 okay but I have still I've got to keep reminding myself I've still got the corn in storage so I want to get a good price to sell that so this is about profit coming later so I go back into the menu uh, and I go to lands that one I now want to sell I need to get what did I pay for 137,904 so if I select that 137,904 sell, yep okay, up to 197,522 um okay, that's perfect right, so then it's loan well, I borrowed uh, 75, didn't I I've gone past it, I have, haven't I of course I have right, repay so, five. <sighs> <laughs> okay, so I've repaid. So what am I down to? 122. 122,522. And I needed. I need 126,254. But actually, no, that's right. Because 4,000 I lost on converting this, this trailer, didn't I? So I'm 4,000 out anyway. So I'm looking at now, I've done all that work. But I've still got all that. I've got 12,000 litres of corn sitting in storage. When I sell that, that's where the profit comes back in. It does work. It really does. It doesn't seem like it does. What it seems like at the moment is I've made a loss on this whole undertaking. Um, but if I go and have a look, like I say... It's going to take a while, but field 6 here, if you look at the size of field 16, which is what I just did. Now, bearing in mind, I'm st I've still got the same harvester and I've got the same header. And I did get clobbered for leasing fee because I went over an hour. So I just got pay uh, just got clobbered for another hour's lease. But look at the size of field 6 compared to field 16. That is sunflower. And that plot of land is 438 so provided I can borrow enough to get myself to 438 buy that plot harvest all of that that will then all be clear profit it will be of course it will yeah <laughs> ah, I, I know I sound like I'm trying to convince myself but it does work anyway on that <laughs> damp squib I mean it, it kind of yeah it does work 
I've just got to scale it up. I've got to do it for long enough. If I do it long enough, with enough fields, I need a bigger harvester. I need to be doing the job quicker, I think, is where I'm going wrong. I need to do the job quicker. Probably need a bigger trailer, because obviously 12,000 litres at a time isn't going to get me very far. But this is the whole point. I'm building up. I'm investing. Once the price of that corn comes up, if I can get anywhere near a 1,000 for a 1,000 litres, that's going to be another 12 grand, roughly, in the bank so I have you know I'm doing okay I am honestly um, I hope I hope you found this episode interesting um, I hope you've enjoyed it anyway if you have give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free and if you want to share this video then please be my guest whatever you should choose to do thanks for watching